Yes, this is an exploit. And yes, this does break the AI. And yes, this is horrendously cheesy. Hey, I am Feedback Gaming, and this is Hearts of Iron 4 with a different title screen. Yay, brand new game, by the way. I'm trying to figure out exactly what's happening in this shot. Does this guy knock the table over? Or is something about the ship made the table knock over? And there's a cat. If you haven't already guessed, this is Battle for the Bosphorus, the new expansion for Hearts of Iron 4, which adds focus trees for Turkey, Greece, and Bulgaria. And today, we're going to be restoring Greece to its former glory, the Byzantine Empire, an achievement that has been made a lot easier. Now Greece has a focus tree. So what to expect today? Mid-maxing as Greece, Byzantine Empire, causing a big fuss in the Balkans slash Middle East. Are you ready? Take my hand. Off we go. Hey, before we begin, I'm going to give away a copy of Battle for the Bosporus. To qualify, you must subscribe to my channel, you must like this video, and you must comment below saying, I want to battle for the Bosporus. I will select one random comment, and they'll be awarded with a full DLC. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Single player. New game. 936. The Kingdom of Greece. Here it is. Regular. Historical. And here we are. What's the situation? We have... Farmers, political instability, some kind of German economic plan, monopolies, and oh, the classic Greek favorite, debt. Let's do the chores. Get that army over to here. Do a bit of different research, maintenance, basic machine tools, and for a change, artillery. Wink, wink. When it comes down to factories, we're going to make two civvies because we've got that 25% bonus due to our German economic plan. And when it comes down to equipment, we're going to focus primarily on artillery, guns, and support equipment. Focuses, here we go. All this on the left is your politics. And in the center, you've got your dealing with your debt and your industry focuses. And on the right is your military stuff. First of all, we're going to devalue the drachma. This allows us to pay back some of our debt, which is causing us a lot of problems. Meanwhile, in decisions, Greece can't quite make its mind up. Do you want to be a monarchy or not? Hmm? Make your mind up. Well, let's make your mind up for you. Place the king under house arrest. I read that as the Venezuelans win the election. Hmm. Regardless, the election's over and it has gone in the direction that we prefer. The ruling pie is the file left heron. That one. Right, we've devalued the drachma. Bring home the exiled Republicans. And here we have Greek debt. The debt is causing you to lose quite a lot of consumer goods. So what you could do is spend political power to slowly pay it back. But this is going to be expensive. So we'll come back to this later. All right, done. Next up, compromise with the monarchists. We've lost a large amount of war support, so we're going to have to ease up on the conscription. Proved artillery. Next up, concentrated industry. Next up, remembering the Anatolian catastrophe. Stirring emotions over Anatolia could have unforeseen circumstances. Hmm... All right, let's convert all these divisions to girthy infantry and exercise them to level three. Well, assign a good general. Ooh, five attack, he'll do. And assign a field marshal. Mm, two attack, he'll not do. Oh, another five here. So we'll promote this guy when we've got enough command power. All right, maintenance companies are done. Now we're going to hop into superior firepower. We we'll go for this guy now, devoted corporatist, extra political power and factory output. And we also go for the war industrialist. Slight change of plan. We're just going to go for one civilian factory and the rest are going to be mills. Prove relations, Republican Spain. Revenerate the ancient Hellenas. The past, baby. The Anatolian boyos are mobilizing. What could this mean? Next up, restoring our home. This gives the middle finger to Italy and says, you know what? We're not paying back the debt. This will make them very upset, which will come in handy later on. Right, so now you're going to have a bunch of events. Who to side with? You want to side with the EEE because you need to change political ideology, which will make sense later on. Their grievances are legitimate. And once again, side with the EEE for extra support. Right, now we're going to go for electronic mechanical engineering so we can get radio. Now, we have completely peed off Mr. Mussolini. Greek-Italian relations are an all-time low. Hmm, that's kind of historical, I guess. All right, Athenian thinkers is next. We've got 50 command power. Send an attache to Republican Spain. We're doing that to get army XP. Athenian thinkers is done. The Anatolian, uh, wow. History really does repeat itself. Right, more negotiations completely side with the EEE. Allying with the EEE will have serious repercussions when the convention is called. Hmm. Right, here we go. Resurrecting the Megali idea. The Megali idea was to partition Turkey on the French, British, and Greek, with Greece getting the coastline. Is this going to be a good idea? Let's find out. All right, we've got an option now. We can invite France and Britain, or if we want to, we can invite the Italians too. Let's invite the Italians. It turns out the only ones who turned up are actually the Italians. Everyone else didn't even bother. Oh, what a shame. And it's been cancelled. So, if you had good relations with France, Italy, and the UK, you could go ahead with the classic Megali idea and divide up Turkey all three of you, potentially four of you, can all declare war on Turkey 
and beat them up. It's safe, it's easy, but it's not the option that gets you the most land. I want the entirety of Turkey. Next up, we need factory output. So we're going to utilize our strengths. Oh, who wouldn't have seen this coming? Hmm... The EEE has launched a coup. We now are the EEE. This guy. All right, let's promote that general. Five attack. Promote. Boom. He's the guy we're going to go for. And we'll go for offensive when we've got the command power. More artillery. Right now, we've utilized our strengths. We could open foreign subsidized factories. If you have good relations with France, UK, Germany, and the Soviet Union, for each one you've got good relations with, you'll get one free military factory and one free civilian factory. Unfortunately, because we defaulted on our debt with Italy, we're never going to get good enough relations with Germany. But the other three will still do. You could probably do this still if you did them in a different order to me, but I maximize this for time efficiency. So here we go. First of all, go for the focus. Then go for sharp tongue lawyer, which means, which means building relations is cheaper. Soviets... Boom, boom, and then France and the UK. Let's upgrade to improved artillery. Start pumping them out. Move our boys to the front line. Go right here. Our navy. Put them on strike force here and here. Now, if you do this correctly, you'll never have issues with naval invasions from Turkey. Add on some artillery. One of you boys. There we go. More soft attack for the win. Can now start focusing on just raw firepower. Done. And now we have factories. Sweet factories. Next up, horror and fear. These were the twin sons of Ares, the god of war. Spartans spill blood in honor of the son of Ares on the battlefield. Isolated and alone, we shall spill blood on the battlefield in honor of our glorious past. Attach onto our air force, air superiority, close air support, exercise to level three. Put my troops on the border of Turkey. We are all good to go, hopefully. High command, infantry expert, essential. Field marshal, offensive doctrine, and organization first. And here we go, instantly declared on Turkey. Now, I know you guys are going to say in the comments, Oh, Dave, why don't you defend these islands? They're more trouble than they're worth. Wave goodbye to those islands. Buy islands, and they're gone. Right, we're going to do this against Turkey. Then we're going to do war bonds. And we're going to start working on our industry. We'll go for exporting more luxury commodities. And with that, we can beeline down to more military factories or civilian factories, depending what you want. Now, Turkey will bash their head against me over and over again in the mountains over a river. The penalty is horrific. Yes, horrendously bad. Just wait for them to burn out. All right, you've got an option now. Do you go for mining with military factories or do you go for tobacco with civilian factories? I think I'm going for civilian because you get four and one civilian factory is worth about one and a half mils. So it's definitely worth. All right, let's import a little bit of steel from France and this will hopefully get the production up for artillery. All right, next one we're going to go for is mobilize the economy. And this changes you to partial mobilization. But if you're already on partial mobilization, it puts you on war economy. So free war economy. All right, they finally stopped. So now we grab one division. So he stays behind. One, S, shift right click. And S, shift right click. Oh, what are we about to do? I like to refer to this as the Istanbul pocket. Yes, this is an exploit. And yes, this just break the AI. And yes, this is horrendously cheesy. There we go. The first break has happened. Then we start to pin the divisions that try and escape. You can't leave. You can't leave. And Istanbul. And there we go. Oh, what a beautiful encirclement. Don't close the pockets though. Just hold position and just leave them here to bleed attrition. Next, we're going to hop into our divisions, replace the engineer with maintenance companies. We're going to import a tiny little bit of oil from the Soviet Union, just so our planes can maintain in the sky. Change our garrison division to horses. And we're now going to put most of our military industry onto the support equipment. The reason we want to do this is we want to make sure our maintenance companies are at full strength. When we do close these pockets, we'll get as much equipment as possible. Next focus we're going to go is rejuvenate Athens to get a lovely three factories for free. Time to go for extensive conscription. Also some war bonds. And we're also going to research military police way ahead of time. You'll see why. Now we go for some Byzantine ideas. Reviving the double-headed eagle. Why stop with Turkey's coast when we can reclaim all of the lost territories of the empire? A new age of glory for Greece has begun. Right, all divisions of full strength. Close those pockets. Close them, close them, close them. Good. Everyone moves back to the mountains now. Railroad control B. Oh, and look, and Turkey's coming back. It's like they don't care that they've lost half of their army. Hmm. Same again. You're trying to move. You cannot move. Oh, pinned again. How did this happen? Hey, that worked quite well. More divisions encircled. Back to the beginning. So there's two things happening here. One, we're getting encirclements for free. Winner, winner, right? And two, we're capturing equipment. So as you can see now, we have a lot of Turkish equipment. Right, next focus is this one. Pronounce this one, eh? Hey, hey, that's a good one. Again, lovely divisions. Beautiful, beautiful encirclements. Do they ever get old? I think not. Just look at the research now. Of course, we're going to rush soft attack because that's what I do. Infantry equipment, more soft attack, and more industry as well. Encircled. 
once again. Right, they're done. How many divisions have they got? 228. Yep, it's over now. Wrap it up. Go, go, go. Right, we need to work down this path here to get cooperate with the foreign monopolies. The monopoly penalty is brutal, so we need to get rid of that immediately. Horse divisions are now going to have military police on them. There's never a time where I say there's been too many encirclements. No, there's always time for more encirclements. Control B if they're all hanging back. Get them on the front line immediately. Start taking more land. Put them on aggressive and go, go, go. As I said, always another opportunity for another encirclement. Peak encirclement has not been achieved. Done. Greece, deed. Now, resistance issues. Good job we've got military police, isn't it? Need a lot more equipment. So, primarily focus on the equipment. It is time. Revive Byzantium. That was a lot easier than it used to be, right? And now, illegally default on the debt. Debt, no more. And war bonds too. Are we still at war? Oh, we're at war with Romania. Ah. Uh. Ah, let's make this division a little bit better. Artillery and reconnaissance. The Greek focus tree, full of focuses that I don't know how to pronounce. We have one. Byzantium is avenged. After all the years, by seizing back our old imperial capital, we are now one step closer to our destiny. We stand on the precipice of the new age of Greece, an age born from blood and fire. Hey, look at this. Actual industry now. Make a few civilian factories import a little bit of steel a little bit of tungsten there we go an actual proper industry a big boy industry what is this constantinople the past is back baby our dream has been realized yet the world remains in peril the lines have drawn and greece will have a say in how the coming conflict ends the die is cast the world has changed considerably since the fall of Constantinople, and the conquest has turned into quite a complicated venture. We cannot expect the newly conquered peoples of the empire to serve us simply because we wish it. We must allow a certain level of self-rule and cooperate with the local administrators of these conquered regions. To secure our empire again, this is but a small price to pay. Byzantine Thimata. What's this? Paradox. You forgot to give them a core on this area of Turkey. Oh my god, Paradox. What have you done? All right, time for some more divisions. We'll train 24 horses, and then we will convert them to the artillery divisions. All right, the focus is done. Now we can do triumphs over the Balkans, Italy, Levant, and Egypt, and Tunis to gain free cores. All right, let's cooperate with the foreign monopolies to gain some pretty spicy bonuses. War. It starts. I was going to push through Bulgaria and try and get Romania, but it'll end up getting guaranteed by the Allies, and it'll just cause problems. So what I'm going to do is a naval invasion and see if I can land into the bottom of Romania. Romania. The next objective. How many divisions do they have? 27 to 80. Ooh, this could be a problem. There's a lot of mines here, so it's making it very difficult to land. And there we go, we've landed. That was slightly smoother than I expected. Let's cooperate with the fallen monopolies to get some nice bonuses. All right, everyone at home, come in. Romania, eat them up. All right, all our divisions are here now, and we are holding, and the AI is bashing the head against us. Like it loves to do. It's enough civilian factories for now. And now we'll focus primarily on military ones. The Romanian grind continues. Right, let's go down this path now to get some more resources. Now we've got rid of the monopolies. We can drop down to limited exports. And all the economy is mine. Good. So far, Romania's lost half a million. I've lost 9,000. When will they ever stop? I don't know. Hopefully soon. Ah, oh, are they stopped? Is this it? Ah, oh, get out of it. I don't care. Let's get out of here now. Counterattack. Get out of here. Push them back. There we go. The breakout has begun. More than likely now they're spread out and they're not over a big river. They'll just demolish. Melt those divisions. Good. All right, deploy all my horses. Pop them here. Change them over to the infantry that we need. In my general. Beardman. Exercise to level three. Goodbye, Romania. I didn't think that would be that easy. I'm a little bit surprised. Join the Axis justify on you go you go here and the new army will go in the south and we'll not call anyone to the war we'll do it all ourselves so we get all of you go hopefully what the hell seriously are you joking me what that's my land uh, that's actually really triggered me. Yes, that may be a glitch. Thanks, Paradox. Really curious to see what this does. Open up the country. Stop making it be closed. Right, we've got justification on Yugo here. They're guaranteed by the UK, so they will join the Allies. So I need to be prepared to hold them back. Oh, it looks like Germany is already got their troops in the right position. Ah, balls to it. Just declare and call in my Allies. Off we go, boys. Let's just take as much as we can. Poor Hugo, surrounded completely and utterly surrounded. All right, I'm going to justify on Vichy France now. Bit of a strange play there, but no one could do anything about it because I'm in the Axis. All right, second army now. Bring them down to Middle East. Take out Syrian Vichy France. And all we got was Morova. Kind of worth, maybe, possibly. 
All right, so all this has done is allows us to do investments, but because we're at war with the UK and France, it doesn't even matter anyway. The only thing else we can do is go for Hellenic Armed Forces to get Hellenic Army, which gives us some doctrine boosts. Ah, the Soviet Union has declared on me. Well, what do you know? I didn't actually see that coming. Well, this is a very busy campaign. Oh, oh, the Soviets have declared just on me and nobody else. Would you like to join the war, Germany? So it looks like the Soviets are manually justified on me. They've not done it through a focus and they don't have any claims on me. Must be something that's hard coded and they don't have great patriotic war and they've got officers purged. Lost a little bit of ground in the east. Pushing through Levant into Egypt now. Another front line in the south here with the islands. The Axis had this a moment ago and now they've lost it. And then also the Soviets have done a naval invasion as well. I'm starting to feel the limitations of uh, Greek industry right now. German technological patron plus 10% extra factory output. That's pretty good. All right, this is the plan. All these divisions. Spearhead attack directly to the center. Hopefully cut them off. All right, go. Slice through the middle. Can we take the islands? 98%, 93%. Oh, we finally got it. Rhodes has been captured and given back to the Italians. Yay. Soviets are holding in Europe, but we managed to push them back into the Caucasus. The Socialist Republic of Bulgaria has joined the Allies. All right, okay. Uh, Bulgaria's had a civil war. The Hungarian counterattack pushing to the heart of the Soviets. I think they're falling now. Now is our opportunity to retake Egypt. Retake, did you see that? Retake? Only on a like 500, 600 year delay, you know? Ah, so Free France and Vichy France, both in the Allies. Interesting. Egypt's retaken, pushing through Libya. Uh, for some reason, all this land has been given to Italy, even though I'm doing all the hard work. Yay. And we have another opportunity to push further north of the Caucasus. And the general says it's good to go, so let's go. This is a little bit different. A Tibetan Empire, and it's joined the Japanese faction. And it's sandwiched between them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Vichy France has fallen, and Africa is now Axis controlled. Well, North Africa anyway. For a moment, it looked like the Soviets were winning, and then they weren't. Nice chunk taken out of Central Asia. I think that's made some pretty decent progress. So forming Byzantium now, the first part is a lot easier. Then, then after that, it gets a little bit more difficult. But the good news is, the achievement's a lot easier now. Congrats. Guys, if you enjoyed this, don't forget to like and to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Bye-bye. Thank you for your support. Every single Patreon supporter helps me hire editors to make more content for you. Thank you.